inspired anyway today in science, and welcome to my house. Or not. No, wouldn't it be so amazing if this was my house? Actually, this is the Czech Republic's house. Or the consulate, to be exact. But what was I talking about again? Ah, uh, yes, today in science. Today in science is brought to you by the Summer School for Global Bioethics Initiative, which is why I am set in this lovely establishment to learn about bioethics. Nina Urban, Assistant Professor of Clinical Psychiatry at Columbia University, delivered a seminar titled Mental Illness and Ethical Implications for a Special Needs Population, exploring ethical questions underlying issues facing patients with psychiatric or neurocognitive conditions such as involuntary commitment, treatment over objection, court-ordered addiction treatment, capacity assessment, and legal guardianship are issues she faces in her practice. She discusses with her students at Columbia and advocates for Health Right International Human Rights Clinic and disaster psychiatry outreach. I can only imagine the types of situations she would face in New York City in this pro bono organization. She spoke at length and with considerable depth and understanding, and I am sure first-hand experience, about the need for reform to the judicial system in regard to working with mentally ill patients. But before we get into that, I am busy picturing her working in the inner cities of Peru in family clinics and for Mother Teresa's missionary in India. 15 years of charity work. Seriously, she is a really good person and her good karma must really be stacked up. We were very engaged by the content of her presentation, but also the material in many sections were pretty shocking. When speaking about the history of psychiatry, Dr. Urban casually mentions Dr. D. Ewan Cameron worked for the CIA on institutionalized mentally ill patients. Dr. Cameron wiped their minds clear, programmed their brains, and then created trained assassins. Professor Urban said it is well documented and known. He was prosecuted for exploiting the minds of the mentally ill and reprogramming their minds by white noise to become trained assassins. Trained assassins. Professor Urban used this example as one of the egregious violations of mentally ill patients' rights. Okay, then we talked extensively about the prescription drug problem that is rampant in America today. Prescription pain pills were given out by physicians, and in some cases too readily, and they have now proven that they are highly addictive in nature. These pills were hard to get off of, and they were abused by the patients. Pharmaceutical companies acted irresponsibly and unethically in the rampant exploitation of the addictive medications. People who had a back injury, fell on the job, who had knee surgery, took painful medication because you know, surgery is painful, and well, they just got hooked. Professor Urban talked about the studied treatment methods for addiction. According to research that Dr. Urban displayed, it is well proven that abstinence methods have a very low rate of success. Studies Dr. Urban displayed in class proved effective treatments for prescription medication addiction were methadone and suboxone drug therapies. Most physicians, hospitals, and the public are reluctant to utilize this method as it is stigmatized, and many feel it is using drugs to treat drug addiction. This was an informative talk that exemplifies the absolute need for non-government organizations like Global Bioethics Initiative to keep the pharmaceutical companies accountable. Until next time, this is Cyra Medi with Today in Science. Thanks for watching.